Hey, my sweet YouTubers, my dear friends, I come to you with, this is going to be a, probably nothing major long, but it's just an idea that I um, got the other day, and I wanted to share it with you. First of all, I'm going to be working on this page right here, and I, I bought these, I don't know if you can see it good, I bought these at the Dollar Tree, you get two in a pack for a dollar and stuff just wipes off but I'm gonna be using paint so I'm gonna pick up my sheet like this and I'm gonna put it between the sheets that way you know it won't get on the others see it sticks out a little bit here sticks out a little bit here I just bought this paint at Hobby Lobby Let's see if y'all can see it oh, I got it too close for y'all Okay, I got it. It says $4.99, but it was 40% off. So I got it for $3. And it is a big bottle. It doesn't have how many ounces, but it sure has a lot in it. So I'm going to show you what I do with this. Kind of dress up the page just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to give it a good shake and I'm gonna put some on my mat right here that like that how they say a little dab of do it now on these um, leaves and stuff I'm just gonna add a little something to this page that's kind of plain and it's it's a, a gold. I'm gonna do a few and then uh, bring it up and show you. Let you see how it and once it dries, I don't know, it gives it a a little bit of oomph. Kind of changes the appearance of it. Like I said, I, I won't do the whole page, but it's enough to give you a, an idea. And you can dress up different pages. You know, I chose this one, but pages that are just plain, plain, plain Jane, I don't know. It just adds a little bit of, I use the word oof, dresses it up kind of like from casual to Sunday you can do it to flowers you can do it to checks you can do it to all kinds of stuff and uh, I don't know if y'all have ever thought of doing this I bought this paint and I don't know it just came into my mind so I give God glory and I tried it on some others. I did it around some flowers. And uh, I'm building my stash up. But I um, I did the gold and I let it dry. And then I uh, fussy cut around everything. And I'm putting it in a plastic container that I got from um, the Dollar Tree. And that way I'll have stuff ready to be able to use it just takes it'll take less time it takes a little work to to get it done but uh once it's done i mean it's when you go to a theme or something it sure saves you time on that day but um i'm gonna i'm gonna estimate that this paint probably has at least 16 to 20 ounces in it it's a really pretty good size and uh, it will go a long way now this is the first time I bought it it dries pretty quickly like when I get up I'll put my ceiling fan on and I'll 
leave it setting here and I'll go about my business and check it in a little while and um, come back and it'll be ready to go I'm sure liking the way it's looking are y'all ready for Valentine's Day tomorrow y'all got any special plans that maybe you and your hubby's gonna do and uh, now we kind of did mine early but I'm not saying we're not doing something again tomorrow now Valentine's Day is special to me I think some of y'all already know but it's my birthday I'll be 60 years old tomorrow on Valentine's Day and um, but my husband he took me to Ellick and uh, he took me to Chili's and we ate at Chili's and then we um, he took me shopping I got to go to Hobby Lobby and and Tuesday morning and Michael's and and I bought me some stuff which I'll be doing a haul on before too long and uh, I had a great time and uh, I just really really enjoyed it but let me tell y'all while I'm doing this and uh, painting it where you can see um, I Tuesday my daughter had called me up and invited us me and my husband to go eat supper with them and um, so I said sure that sounded nice she said you know it being Tuesday night it wouldn't be as crowded because on the weekend I know they were serving crawfish and stuff she said it's just so packed you can't hardly get in so my husband and I got dressed and we got there on time and uh, my son-in-law he come and met us outside you know to show us where they were at and so we walked in and we got up to the table and my daughter was sitting there and I put my purse down and Sean said well instead of us sitting here there was a, a little room to the side he said uh, let's go and and sit in here and the light was off but Rachel my daughter had to walk in and she um, went to turn the light on well I walked in you know and it's dark it's cooter brown in there and all of a sudden when she flipped the lights on everybody in there hollered surprised I was so excited y'all um, you know I'm, I'm made 60 years old and being honest that is my first real party birthday party that I'd ever had so you know out of 60 years it really really meant the world to me but my brothers and sisters and my husband and my children my grandchildren and friends were there and um, I got all kind of nice gifts y'all my son gave me uh, $50 to uh, it's a Amazon card that I can shop on Amazon and a friend of mine gave me a $25 card to Hobby Lobby and um, another one of my friends she gave me a uh, Chili's card $25 to go eat at Chili's and my husband he surprised me with $430 and told me that I can shop and buy whatever I want and y'all know it's probably gonna be something to do with scrapbooking but I'm still gonna look for deals but and I, ha I got some um, body mist and the would you call the lotion and the bath stuff and oh it smells so good y'all I got some can a candle and some uh, hand soap that smells real good I got all kinds of stuff 
and my our meal my son-in-law and daughter bought our meal and uh, I was just so thankful and so excited they had it decorated so pretty with um, I got you know a cake and balloons and they had a big old banner on the back side that said um, you know about being 60 and uh, I just had a grand time we were there for three hours it started at 6 and we left about about 9 o'clock and I just had a blast I mean it was just awesome but I wanted to tell y'all about it I might um, you know I'm not sure might be able to show some pictures maybe in the future we'll have to see none of its developed right now but I just think it's gonna be all it was just awesome it'll be a memory that I will cherish for a long time and they were sneaking and trying to keep me from knowing it and I, I just about started crying when they'd done that because I knew that it was probably for me with us just getting there and you know it being close to my birthday so they surprised me and uh, a surprise it was great it was grand and uh, so so blessed I just appreciate it so so much but as y'all can see um, you know, I put just a little dab of paint on there, and I'm still working on it. I'm putting a little dot at the tip end of each leaf. And uh, then I'll let it dry. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this. And uh, I'll come back and let y'all see the finished product. But for right now, I'm going to show you. Let me set my, my paintbrush down. Get it a little bit closer. Let y'all see. I hope the lighting's okay. See how it looks, how... I'm putting that on the little leaves over here. It's the plain side. And over here's the gold. Now when it dries, it looks it looks good when it dries. I hope the camera does it justice. Because in in real life it does. I mean it dresses it up. I love the gold on the pages. And you know, on a these books you'll get a few pages you might get three or four that's got gold on it but i thought to myself why can't i put it and uh i really like it so i'm gonna finish this up and then i'll come back i'm back to show you i finished it get up close but you can see all the little dots that i put on it I'm up close. Just dresses it up. Just dresses it up. I'm gonna pull back away from it. But I did the whole page. Do it with the branch. I don't know, I like the gold. And depending on how the light hits it, I hope you can see the shimmer. I mean, to me, it looks really good. It always looks better for some reason when it's, um, you know, in person than it does on the camera. Not sure why. That's the way it is. 
Now I'm going to come right here. This is that little piece that I cut off on the other one. Now I sprayed my body mist on it. Not body mist. Listen to me. Glamour mist. I'll get it right in a minute. And I put the little touches of gold on it to dress it up. I did this one too. Now, let me grab this right here. Now, let me look right here. Okay, this is the plain one. I just, this is plain. And then, like I said, coming down here, I added the shimmer and I added the gold. To me, it just dresses it up a little bit. Don't take much time. Just a little bit. But, um, and I did this one. Touched it up with some gold. And I haven't put the glimmer mist on it yet, but I probably will because I really like it. And like I said, I'm going to show you. This is the plane without the gold on the flowers. And then that's with the gold. Just kind of gives it a little extra. Well, like I said, it's just a small haul. But thank you for watching. But keep this in mind. Um, let me show you the paint again that I used. That's the name of it. Tempera Paint. Like I said, it's a big bottle. $4.99 and I got the 40% off. Come to about $3. But it will last a long time long long time i love it and i also got i think it's the copper one i think i got and they had a silver i didn't get the silver but i got the bronze i mean the copper and the gold but i might get some others after that well thank y'all for watching and um like i said maybe this will give you an idea and you can add a little bit of paint to yours and just change it up now let me show you Okay, so this is what it is now, and this is what it was. I had two sheets of it. I'm going to probably do the same thing to this one, which I hadn't done it yet. So this is what it looked like, and this is what it looks like now. Show that one more time. This is before... And this is after. Okay, I hope it gave you a new idea. Let me know if you try it. And I appreciate y'all so much. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Don't forget to press that little bell. And give me thumbs up. And, uh... Don't forget the comments. I love your comments. And I'll do my best to subscribe back to y'all. And uh, y'all take care now. Okay. Love y'all, my YouTubers. Looking forward to hearing from y'all. Okay. Bye-bye.